What is something that makes you say man, I fing hate people? Working in customer service. People who litter, especially when there is a bin literally a meter away. Kobo shit I missed the bin, might as well leave it there for someone else to pick up. Anytime I hear about rape gangs, child prostitution rings or morgue parties, a lot of people are just screwed in the head. What are morgue parties? Necrophiliac orgies, it makes me sick just putting it simply. Why aren't they called morgues? Do I upvote or downvote this? Managers firing competent workers to secure their own position. My dog ran away five days ago, and I've been posting on every website trying to find him. Someone posted him as found yesterday and someone else claimed him. Had to contact the police to help me finally get him back after five hours of headache, because the person that found him blocked me, and they were only trying to cooperate after the Facebook group that originally thought he was returned to his rightful owner put them on blast for stealing my dog. People fucking suck man. Fuck that guy. With a cast iron skillet. Burning. Up the ass. <laughs> Workplace politics. Period. Guess this common evil that makes working life for continuous. Living medium grade hell for every one of us struck a chord. This is my shortest comment. That got the most up votes. And lot of metal thrown at it. For the first time. Thanks a lot to all you kind anonymous redditors for the platinum. Gold and silver. Got me a peep into r slash platinum and r slash lounge as well. Also rip my inbox. Trying to reply individually to each comment. Especially the ones I feel the most for. The people who had to give up their position for being victims of office cloak and dagger politics. But with so many replies pouring in. May not be able to keep up. Though I'm reading every one of them. High school drama never ends. It just puts on business casual and starts drinking coffee. I'm never sure if I work at a place where the drama is at a minimum. Or if I'm just not in the know. Probably the latter. Which I'm fine with. I also thought there was no drama at my workplace, but believe me there always is. Drama. Drama never changes. Plastic litter on nature trails is really fucked up to me. Like how does one enjoy a nature trail, and at the same time, think it's okay if we all toss Gatorade bottles there? Plastic litter on nature trails is really fucked up to me, and why the hell do dog owners take the time to pick up their dog shit? Put it in a bag, and then leave a plastic bag full of shit along the trail for everyone else to enjoy for all eternity? I'd rather the dog shit. At least it goes away eventually. What the hell is wrong with people? When a coworker decides to correct me by sending a passive aggressive email and copying the boss and the whole group instead of just saying something to me privately and in person. People. What a bunch of bastards. People being assholes to service slash hosts at a restaurant. People who drive drunk or texting. But I can do it. It's just everyone else who'd be dangerous when they do it. Lately there have been quite a few instances of someone or potentially multiple people putting poisoned meat out near dog parks. There is absolutely no valid reason to do that and I hope they catch the ass wipes. My colleague's dog died because of this. She was devastated. They call themselves dog hunters for some reasons. Man if someone tried to hurt my dogs I'd fucking eat them. People who mistreat animals. I just can't fathom the mindset that enables someone to hurt truly innocent creatures. I agree. Animals deserve respect and protection. All animals. Not just the ones we like. I agree except for wasps. Fuck wasps. And mosquitoes. Antics. Lyme disease scares me shitless. People who don't return their grocery cart. Like, who do you think you are? At Aldi you can pay for the privilege of not returning the cart. Backslash pushes 25 cent cart into traffic. Peasants. Might seem trivial, but it fucking drives me nuts when people get off an escalator and just stop and decide where they want to go next. It's like I can't stop this thing you need to keep moving. Also people who stand in doorways. People like Epstein were so brazenly breaking the law. The worst part of this is that Epstein was the ringleader. But there are currently dozens, if not hundreds, of pedophiles that were employing his services who will likely never see any kind of repercussions for their actions. Even when he was alive, they were already setting him up to be the fall guy. 
after working as a critical care nurse for years now, you'd think it would be the countless forced drug abusers or alcoholics that I treat in the Maku. But it's not my patients that make me think that. It's their families. I get that most of the time. People are nervous for their loved ones. They don't want to lose their parent. But I see this situation happen over and over. When it's time. People can't just let go. So 95 year old Nana comes in and has trouble breathing. We ask her if she would want to be intubated if necessary and says no. She doesn't want that or CPR. But there isn't a form and her daughter is health proxy. Too bad the family doesn't respect that. So we tube her. But her blood pressure can't handle the sedation. So we need to start presses. Then she develops a pneumonia. So we've got to pump her with antibiotics. But oops. Too bad she's already gone septic. Start some more presses. Who care if she loses a few fingers and toes in the process. We've got a BP right. Get some bedside dialysis going too. Might as well. Until ultimately, we tell the family it's getting to be futile. And we should really just make her comfortable for her own sake. But no. They don't agree. Fuck your years of schooling and experience. So Nana codes. I do chest compressions and break all of her ribs in the process. We shock her and slam her with drugs and fluids for a half hour until eventually there's literally nothing more to do. I'm sorry I know this was such a long rant. I just got off an overpass. But it's happened so often. And every single time I just think of the agony we put this person through in their last days on earth or because a family couldn't respect their loved one's wishes. Please. When it's time just let me pump them with morphine and ativan and let them go in peace and comfort. Ed nurse here. Spot. On. Or even worse. You get Nana coming and just barely pre-code with the one family member who's been taking care of them throughout whatever terminal disease process they have. They have leveled with the idea that their mom is going to die and is DNR slash DNI. The patient is about to die. When all the family members who haven't been around run in screaming at you that you need to save Nana. That she'll bounce back. That she has more time. That you don't know what you're talking about. That if you don't save her they'll kill you. Etc. That if you don't save her they'll kill you. ETC. One security please. Escort this particular fellow out. People that find the utmost joy in saying nasty shit behind others back. Either that or people that plot on other people's demise. You know likes it there and watch them make a mistake. Only to use it against them for their own personal gain. When they could have just helped them in the first place. Porch pirates. People thinking hey I know that's not mine. But I want it. So I'm taking it makes my blood boil. We had that happen in our neighborhood once. Now I'm surrounded by three very, very nosy neighbors. Any strangers in the cul-de-sac and three sets of blinds get split by suspicious figures. I could have the hope diamond delivered by Amazon to my doorstep, and I wouldn't worry about it. Ethel has eyes like a hawk. People who say oh it's their job to clean up after me, or I'm making sure that they are still employed as an excuse for not cleaning up after themselves in public. Like no, you don't leave a soda spilled everywhere and then not even attempt to clean it up. You don't leave rolls and rolls of toilet paper all over the floor in the bathroom. You don't leave bags of popcorn and drinks and popcorn all over a theater floor and seats. Take responsibility. Clean. Up. Your. Mess. My dad does this. I work in the cinema, so I get free tickets. But he refuses to clean up after himself and says it's their job. Does he not realize I literally work there? Screw his free tickets. When people twist the truth and accuse you of things you didn't do, and people side with them. When they did something obviously wrong and still openly denies it. Adults who take youth sports way too seriously. Animal cruelty really makes my blood boil. When people don't pick up their dog's poop. People who abuse their power and get away with it scot-free. Student paramedic in the UK here. For context you don't pay for healthcare in the UK including the ambulance service. We often have patients who will ring us up and say over the phone things. Like I have chest pain chest pain is a high priority case and often gets dispatched as quick as possible. But upon arrival they will tell us I never said I had chest pain yet we ring and ask for a transcript of the conversation and there it is. Nine tenths times we have to take them into hospital to check they are okay just in case there is any heart or lung issues. But people will like to get things seen quicker through the emergency pathway. But people will get us out for anything because they can't be bothered to A. Drive themselves. B. Pay for a taxi. C. Get public transport or D. Wait to see their GP, family doctor, 
you can leave people at home, and tell them you won't take them, but if they're in back another crew will be sent out, or even worse something bad could actually happen, and you're stuck with the liability. It makes me so annoyed people see it as a taxi, and not as an emergency service. But let me clarify this is a small amount of people, but they are definitely there. That's fucked up. People will take advantage of anyone and anything to benefit themselves. People who can't take no for an answer, and will push you to agree slash accept what they say. People who can't accept criticism, when they fuck up, and affect other people's lives. People who can't have a discussion, where they are being told a fact and they disprove it, because back in the day, or authority arguments should always win. It teaches you some hardcore patience, when you have to deal with people like these on the daily. Every day when I hear about the next despicable vile thing done by the human race, especially if it involves kids or animals, people can be so cruel. Gestures broadly at everything, 